G'day viewers, we're here at Bromsgrove and we've got a 6P Jubilee locomotive and it's called Thunderer and we've got one, two, three, four, five Mark 1 coaches on the back and the question in my mind is with the new steam physics can the 6P lick the licky? We'll also have a look at the 8F and the brand new 4F. Now, why are we here at all? Because Birmingham Cross City is on sale in the Midweek Madness sale. So you'll be seeing this on stream. I am Train Simulator Driver. I am a bit of a clown when it comes to streaming and I'm a real life engine man. So if you like this sort of thing, let's get into full forwards. Cylinder cocks are open. Let's release the brakes. And let's just notch up just a touch so we don't go rolling backwards on this gradient and pop back outside for the start. All right, she's starting to move. Now, before the changes, the Jubilee did struggle mightily with the, uh, with the licky. I'm not sure if that's going to be much different, to be honest with you. We're off to a good start at the moment. Still accelerating. Let's accelerate as much as we can because it's going to get steep very quickly. I think with the steepness, let's just keep it at 60. 60% and on the regulator. Right now we're using a lot more steam than we're generating, so this isn't going very well. Hmm. Come on, Thunderer. You can do it. Prove that your name is about storms. Storm up the licky, Thunderer. You can do it. It's still accelerating at the moment. Yes, and I'm being reminded to go closer to mid-gear, but, you know, we're on a 1.8% gradient, so that hint doesn't really apply that well. But let's see how we go. 60% on the reg. Still doing 22 miles an hour, but we are losing speed so fast now that we're on the, the heavier part of the gradient. So let's go up to 50 and let's go up to 80 on the reg. I'm not going to put the regulator all the way on the roof because only bad things are going to happen from there. If you're wondering where that term comes from, you can see the regulators here and putting it on the roof means to put it all the way up there. Not going that well. We're still slowing down. We're on the, the steepest part of the gradient now. Let's go back up to 60 on the reverser. 65. That'll do. We are still slowing down. Mm. All right. Let's go all the way on the reverser. We're now in full forward gear. We are now only using the boiler pressure. Oh, this isn't going well at all. We are starting to make steam, though, weirdly. Hmm. Let's go up a bit more. I don't think Thunder is having a good time of this. Hmm. Let's go up to 90-ish on the rig. Uh, we're losing it. We're losing it. Well, it's become clear that Thunderer can't handle five cars on the licky. So I think the time has come to cut one loose. If it'll let me. Oops, there's a 3-2-3. Three, three. Whee! Yeah, Thunder is doomed, I'm afraid. Oh, hang on, hang on. Hang on, let's... Oh, 1.6. Is Thunderer accelerating? Might be. All right, we're not cutting a car loose at this point. Okay. Come on, Thunderer. If you don't get into a massive storm of wheel slip, I'll be a little bit surprised, but let's see what you can do. Thunderer is picking up. I'm glad the 323 bumped me out of the way and I couldn't cut that car off. Hmm. Come on, Thunderer. 
You can do it. I am stunned that it's making steam at 90% on the regulator in full forward cutoff. Let's just say on a real steam locomotive this would not actually happen. Your pressure dial would go pew, and your fireman would probably hit you over the head with a shovel and push you out. Yeah, I'm sorry boss, didn't mean to arrive here single-handed. Driver fell in the firebox. Couldn't do a thing about it. It's just too hot to get him out again. Gotta say, 6P's picking up some speed here. Thunderer might actually do this, you know. We've got a fair way to go. We don't have to get all the way to Barnt Green, but we've got to come close. The bear by the side of the tracks is really close to the top of the gradient. And the bear is a fair way away, I have to say. We're stuck behind an overhead staunchion. Oh, gratuitous bridge shot coming up. Slowest camera pan ever still makes it. Oh, no, we're losing speed again. Maybe I spoke too soon. Come on, Thunderer. Come on, Thunderer, you can do it. You can do it. Get those great big wheels of yours turning. Oh, this is excruciatingly painful. We are losing speed. <sighs> I, dread, I dread doing this. But let's put the regulator on the roof. Let's see what it does. So we now have the full boiler pressure going into the steam chest, basically. But because we're on a full forward cutoff, we're not using the expansive principles of steam at all. We're just using the pure boiler pressure to push the uh, wheels around. To my amazement, looking at the hut over there on the steam hut, it is actually making some headway. Hey, where's my head? My head's not here. There's my head. Hello, head. How are you doing? Haven't seen you for ages. Hmm. That looks like it's trying to go to 6.6, .6, doesn't it? It has gone to 6.6. .6. Okay, on a 100% regulator, full forward cutoff, Thunderer is kind of doing it. Kind of. It's time for another gratuitous bridge shot, and of course we don't have to go hard. Just go nip through the trees, come down here into the view of the cars. I'd whistle, but I don't want to waste the steam. Maybe a pop. That's all you're going to get. Well, the 2.6 percent part of it now so this, this is Thunderer's chance to pick up a little bit of speed until it gets steeper again well, back on the 2.7 you missed out Thunderer you had your moment here is an ATF sorry a 323 what did I say get ATF it's kind of funny Little 323 winging its way down into Bromsgrove. The 323 is, of course, the stock train for this route. Apologies, just grab myself a lozenge. After streaming today, I have been talking far too much.
I reckon you could get that beat into sort of some slow EDM. Mm, 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 mm. Kind of works. Oh, we've almost made it to the sheep paddock. Making our way excruciatingly up there. I think we need to go and visit. We need to go and visit Sheepy. And see what Sheepy thinks, whether Thunderer can do it or not. But on the way, gratuitous bridge shot. on thunderer I am relatively impressed it hasn't just collapsed into a massive wheel spin to be honest because it would have under the old physics in fact it didn't used to get this far under the old physics it used to pretty much grind to a halt you could sometimes get it to get up the hill but uh, not with any great dignity Meh, sheepy. How is your low resolution self today? Are you feeling woolly? Up there we've got... Oops, how did I do that? Wah. What should I say? Wah. Anyway, up there, sheepy, we've got Thunderer. What do you think? Can Thunderer make it? Maybe. Maybe not. Mm. Well said, sheepy. I think I agree with you. I think Thunder is having a hard time. We'll see, eh, Sheepy? We'll come back when it's time to talk about the 8F, and then we'll do it again with the 4F. Say hello, you Hubert. Here comes another 323. Three. Actually, this one will be trapped at a signal, because it's following that other one into Bromsgrove. And my scenario is not set up that well because they'll all just bank up trying to get into Bromsgrove. They can't actually all do it, of course, can they? Come on, Thunderer. I kind of do want to set this to some nice EDM beat, but the trouble is... Finding something that wouldn't get me a strike, that was still good, might be a challenge. So just imagine in your head an EDM beat going along to this. Is Thunderer trying to go to 7.5 or 7.7? .7? Ooh, 7.7. .7. Thunderer has actually accelerated slightly. Still climbing excruciatingly slowly. Now we're going for time at the moment. I can see that we are just coming up on 14 minutes since we started. Mm. 14 minutes, and I need to get over this locomotive. And we're at 3602. Okay. Come on, Chuff Chuff. You can do it. Go for a little cruise. Pick up a gratuitous bridge shot on the way because we have to. And then we're going to see what she looks like from inside a 323.
I do believe Thunderer has picked up a little bit of speed now that the gradient's dropping. Hmm. It's going to make it, you know. It's going to make it. Now, what does it look like from inside at 323? Ladies and gentlemen, if you look out of our right-hand side facing Bromsgrove, you will discover 45703 Thunderer crawling up the Licky Bank, who was doing fairly well but is now losing speed on the verge of actually making it. It looks like she might actually not. Mmm, this is not looking good, people. Neither is your opportunity to get into Bromsgrove because you're sitting at a red signal because the train before you is sitting at Bromsgrove and it beats you in there. Awfully sorry about that. Now look at Mr. Creepy peering through the seat. Whoa, I'm on TV. Mm, still losing speed out there. Okay, we'll leave you guys to it. Let's shut the door for you as you keep this uh, sunny English day out. What's going on up there, Thunderer? You haven't actually got that far to go, you know. Not that far at all. You kind of see the end of the gradient. Come on, man. You're doing it. You're almost there. Look, it's just up there. You're going to make it. You're actually going to make it. Hmm. It's going to crest the grade. Let's go and sit up there where it will crest the grade. In fact, oh, eight key, eight camera. Why don't you land the way I'm going, please? At least once in a while. Come and sit up here in the sun with Bear while Thunderer tries to get up the hill. Because as they say in the classics, there's a bear in there with a story to tell. Tell me a story, Bear. Is he going to make it? Come on, Thunderer. Thunderer is just about to crest the grade. It's not quite there yet has picked up a modicum of speed, just the tiniest little bit. That signal that you can see there is pretty much the crest of the grade, but of course its uh, cars are still coming up behind it. We're at 18 and a half minutes to get up the Licky Bank. We're starting to accelerate, which means that we have crested. The gradient is now dropping on the HUD. So there you have it. 18.5 minutes for Thunderer to get up the bank. Thunderer the 60p. Hmm. Okay. You realise now we have to try the same thing in the 8F, don't you? Alright, Thunderer, mate. You've done your thing. Off you go. Into the wild blue yonder. And we'll be right back just as Thunder crests 20 miles an hour with the 8F doing the same thing. See you soon from the magic of video. And the grass goes crazy with anticipation for the 8F. G'day viewers, we've just seen the 6P in the guise of Thunderer lick the licky. Badly. Barely made it. Using everything it had, it got up the hill. Can the 8F do any better is an interesting question. But before we start that, let's just get the doors open, the 8Fs, people start getting in. There's something that we have to do, because you may remember that the Jubilee 
only had five cars. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So what are we going to do? Well, it's pretty simple, really. We're going to find the happy spot. And we're going to leave one here. Uh-oh. Okay, let's get... Get into full forward gear to get us going. The cocks are open. Ready, invisible fireman. Of course you are. Breaks are coming off. Let's get the big ejector open. And let's put on some... Oops, let's get the doors shut. And let's put on a bit of power so we don't roll back. Sucks to be you, M13241. Bye bye. Oh, you stayed behind. You sacrificed yourself for us. All right, let's get this beastie on the run. Close, get the large ejector closed. Let's try and build up as much speed as we possibly can. Let's get the regulator up to about 60, which is where we had it on the 6P. I'm not going to promise to do this scientifically and be exactly the same, because I'm just not. But the ATF is doing an amazing job so far. She is already exceeding the speed that the uh, 6P attained. It's about to come to an end, though, because we are climbing the gradient. It's not very long until we get onto the head. Hefty bit. Oh, look, we're still down the back. Whee! As I mentioned in the 6P video, this route, the Birmingham Cross City line, which goes from Bronxgrove and Reddick right up to Litchfield City, is on sale now in the Midweek Madness sale for Train Sim World 3. Alrighty, we're starting to lose it now, so... Regulator up to 70%. Steam rate's gone through the floor. Mmm. <laughs> so our lovely little 8F that doesn't actually have a name... ...is so far... I think doing a bit better than the 6P, to be honest with you. Because by this point with the 6P, which took 18 and a half minutes to get up the hill, you may remember. But by this point, we were doing much slower speeds. And we're going to have to give it some more regulator. 80% on the reg. Let's see how that goes. We're still losing speed rather badly. Oddly enough, we are starting to create more steam, though, which is strange. And I think, like the 6P, we're going to have to go on to... Probably have to go a full forward on the... Uh, on the reverser. Yes. 69% didn't help, so let's go full forward on the reverser. Ooh. We're still losing speed. Ah, 323! Three, three. Now, by this point, the 6P... Alright. Let's go up to 90% on the regulator. By this point, the 6P had almost stalled. It was doing about one mile an hour when that 323 passed us, going past this signal. And I was contemplating dropping a car off its consist. The ADF's going a little bit stronger than the 6P did, but let's see what happens. So we're holding our own now. Hmm. Still dropping speed slightly. Our steam generation rate's picking up, though. So at this point, we're a little bit quicker than the 6P. And I think we're going to have to go to 100 on the reg as well. So the reg is on the roof. Mm. Mm. How's it going to go? Can I possibly make another really so tri slow trip up the Licky Bank? Interesting. We all want to know, though, right? We're all desperate to know. Can the 8F actually do it? We will, of course, go and visit Sheepy on the way. I 
do believe the ATF is accelerating. It's probably helped out by its tiny little wheels. It's certainly doing better than the Jubilee did. Take that, Thunderer. Thunderer, I think you should give your nameplate to this ATF. Because it's clearly more of a Thunderer than you are. Seven point two, and we're still actually rising. Hmm. Got to be pretty happy about that. We're still a fair way to go, though. It's a fairly good-sized hill, this one. And it did famously have uh, struggling steam trains on it. But this little ATF on its rail tour contest isn't doing too badly. What number are we, ATF? 48 and 121. time for a gratuitous bridge shot and once again we simply don't need to hurry at all. We can get two for the price of one here. I do believe I just hit a light pole and got thrown up in the air. Thanks collision physics. Unreal engine for the win. Seems to have stopped accelerating again. It's holding its own at 7.9 though. If you look at the little bar on the HUD there, it's uh, maybe it actually is accelerating. Oh, it is. Look at that. Next gratuitous bridge shot. Once again, we don't have to hurry, but let's get down to a proper level. Through a tree, as you do. And I get thrown up in the air again. It's definitely accelerating. It's doing a lot better than the 6P was. Hmm. Chuff, 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 chuff. Watch your chuffing, brother. Steam, man. Steam. I'm always chuffing steam. It's good for you. Please note that if you're one of those funny people who likes to go up to a steam engine in a platform, and stick their face in the steam that's coming out of the cylinders and other orifices and go. It's a really bad idea because infused with that steam is cylinder oil. Couldn't be good for you to breathe that sticky, goopy stuff. It really couldn't. Well, there's the 323, and we're coming up on Sheepy's paddock, so we'd. We'd better make our way up towards Sheepy. This is a different 323, which means we're certainly doing better. This isn't the 323 that gets stuck, this is the one that makes it in. So at this point, we're only 9 minutes in. That's much quicker than the 6P. And to be honest, if you've sat here for both of them, I'm kind of impressed. But I hope you hang around for the 4F, because that's next. Jump, 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 jump. I can do it. I can do it. I am doing it. Alright, let's go visit Sheepy. Why do I keep getting thrown up in the air? Hello, Sheepy. What do you think? What do you reckon, Sheepy? Can the ADEF do it? Yes, I think so. Good deal, Sheepy.
Spectaculous. Ooh, don't speak too soon, Shoopy. Did you see the speedo? It just dropped. I know. I'm worried now. Alright, catch a sheepy. We are actually in sight of the top now. How to make a really slow run interesting. Here, look at my funnel. Not a euphemism, just saying. Come on, 48, 121. You can do it. You're within sight of the top. Still going on the way. The hub's not really agreeing with me, but it actually feels like it's slowed down. You haven't got that far to go, mate. Doing all right. Do we go and see what an ATF looks like from inside a uh, stuck 323? Seems like a plan. I should emphasize they're only stuck because of the scenario planner limitations where you can only send them to the terminating station. And because Bromsgrove is the only station at the bottom of the bank, and I wanted to see a few of them. Well, the first one gets into Bromsgrove, the first one waits just outside Bromsgrove, and the third one waits for the second one. It's just kind of how signalling works, really. I do detect a tad more acceleration, 7.9. Doing much better than the 6P. 6P at this point was much slower. We are 13 and a bit minutes in. Go find ourselves a 323 to sit in. Go for the blue doors again. He won't be going anywhere for a while because the station's not going to clear. G'day passengers. Looking on our right, facing Broomsgrove, you'll soon see an 8F. The ATF that much more deserves the name Thunderer than the 6P that came up before, also called Thunderer. Doing pretty well, in fact. Lost a little bit more speed just then, but still doing okay. And we've got another one of those people that goes, Hey, I'm on TV. Look, I can look through the hole. Look at me. Excellent. Excellent. All right, you guys enjoy your day. We're going to go up to the top of the gradient and see if he actually makes it or not, because he's not far off. And we're stuck on a pole. Last opportunity for a gratuitous bridge shot. Are we going to take it? Of course we are. Four eight one two one. That seventy five sign is pretty close to the top of the Licky Bank.
So we're not too far to go. We're not too far off consulting the bear. I do believe it's pretty much a foregone conclusion at this point that our ATF is actually going to make it. And it's going to make it with slightly more style than the 6P did. So I think it's time to visit the bear. Because the bear knows. Oh, why do you get stuck on collision boxes underneath the wires? I understand the collision boxes on the wires, they're so the pantographs are at the right height, but why do they come down so low? And why does the 8 camera get stuck on collision boxes? Oh yeah, invisible walls. And hello bear, how are you? We've got another one for you to view. Ooh, the grass is going in jubilant adulation. Because the 8F is cresting the grade right now. Grass is going. And the ADF has started to accelerate and the time is 17 minutes. So that is one and a half minutes faster than the 6P. 17 minutes. Pretty well done, ADF. Alrighty, we'll see you back shortly. We're going to try the same thing with a 4F. Can the 4F lick the licky? The 4F is the brand new loco that's come with Peak Forest, and it deserves a turn as well. Look at the grass going ready for the 4F. Alrighty, video magic. See you in a moment. Radio, here we are for part three with 4F number 44556. It's a little 060. It comes with Peak Forest. It's a powerful little beast. And how many cars do we have? One, two, three, four and five so we know it's fair good -o. let's get chuffin shall we so the time to beat 17 minutes done by the 8f doors closed full forward gear cocks are open large ejector releasing the brakes let's get a bit of power on Brakes coming off, and away we go, maybe. Let's watch outside. Let's see how she goes with the start. There she goes. Just pull back a little bit so we don't get a massive wheel spin. Chuff, chuff. All right, let's close the large ejector so we're not wasting steam. And let's go. Now we're already on a 1% gradient, so I probably won't bother coming below 60 on the, uh, on the reverser. We could for a little while. But let's just get up as much speed as we can. Steam pressure's okay at the moment. Clearly it is, because we're blowing off. You can see the start of the proper gradient happening up there. We're going to make 20 mile an hour before we get there. We've got about two miles to go, roughly, up the Licky Bank. How well can we do it? Twenty-five mile an hour, we're getting into the bank proper. We're on the 2.7 gradient. We're still holding our own at the moment. That probably won't last long though. I'm betting. If it climbed, if it climbed the bank at 20 mile an hour, I'd be pretty amazed. Alright, we're starting to lose it, so let's give it some more on the regulator and see if we can make it hold. 72% on the regulator, still losing it. Give it some more reverser. 
the more reverse you give it, the closer you get to the full forward gear, the more wasteful you are with steam though, really. Alright, 72, let's go up to 80. Oh, she's struggling a little bit. It is slowing down. Faster than the 8F at this point, so it's holding better. Definitely faster than the 6P. Now the 4F has got uh, about the same size wheels as the 8F. And here comes that 323 that's going to interrupt me in a moment. But uh, you can see the eccentric motion in there. There it is, the eccentric motion. And you can see the lubricators and the piston valves. And here comes the 323. Whoosh. About half a mile in, 1.5 to go. Doing a lot better than both the uh, 6P and the 8F. So you're a plucky little thing, 4F. Keep up the good work, mate. I haven't had to go to 100% on the reg or full forward yet. We are holding our own at the moment. go up on the reg just a little and see if we uh, gain any speed or not. Still holding our own on the steaming. Twelve miles an hour. Am I missing a bridge shot? Oh no! Just made it. Excuse the hiccups. What's going on there? Hmm. Well, we're back into the uh, steep again. 2.8%. Oh, we're losing speed now. The plucky little 4F is starting to plucky the ducky. Give it a bit more on the reg now that we've dropped below 10 mile an hour. We're still not in full forward gear yet. So we've still got a bit of a reserve in the tank. And we're coming up on sheepy. So we better go and interview sheepy, hadn't we, eh? We'll do the gratuitous bridge shot first, naturally. See, it's not even trying its hardest, and it's still winning. I reckon it can do better. There's something cool about the sound of a steam locomotive working hard. What does that? G'day sheepy, we're back. Mate. What do you reckon of the uh, 4F? Mate, it's much better. Leaves the other ones for dust. Look at it go. Go. It's accelerating. Look at it go. It's picking up speed. It's going to be the winner by a long way. The other ones, well, let's just say... They're not very good. <laughs> See you later, sheepy. This thing's going so fast I couldn't even finish sheepy's interview properly.
We're almost there, you know that. 0.7 of a mile to go, roughly. And we've come up to 10 mile an hour. Oops, ran into a pole. Ran into a fence. What's going on? Just running into stuff. Woo, here comes another 323. I hope we're on the 8 cam. Whoosh. You know what's funny? I think we might actually get to the top of the bank before the third one, so we won't even get stuck. Bridge shot, naturally. Here it comes, the little 4F, plucking its way up the licky bank and even accelerating. And it's not even using everything it's got. This rate, we might even have to cut the interview with bears short because we're just not far away. Only 0.3 of a mile to go. Molinau still accelerating. Well, short of a massive wheel slip or a boiler explosion, the 4F is certainly going to make it up Licky Bank. We haven't even... Oh, there it is. There's the other 323 that eventually gets stuck. But it's not going to get stuck here. And it's too late to go inside it. Just have to watch it come past. Just remember they get stuck because of scenario planners sending them all into the same station. It's not an issue with the route. Well, we can see the top of the gradient here. We have passed the 75 post. And the top of the gradient itself is pretty much right here at this signal. This one, number BA3600. Which naturally must stand for British Ace, surely. So it's time to interview Bear as the 4F crests the hill. G'day Bear, we're in a rush, sorry. Train's bloody here. And the grass goes wild. <sighs> 4F crested the grade before I even got to the bear. What do you reckon, bear? Bloody ace, mate. I reckon you're right, bear. It's bloody ace. There it goes, off into the distance. Well, how about that? Hmm. The 4F can lick the licky in a decidedly better fashion than the others, and its speed was 12.35 when it crested the bank. 4F1235. Alrighty then, folks. Remember the uh, really cool route? Which, of course, has the chocolate box on it. Everybody likes a chocolate box.
is on sale now in the Midweek Madness sale. This is the from Bromsgrove and Reddick to Litchfield City, and it's the Birmingham Cross City route in Transim World 3. I am Train Simulator Driver. Check me out on my YouTube channel if you like. I'm a real life engine man, and as you can probably tell, a little bit of a clown. So have fun, folks. Hope you've enjoyed this. Hope you're picking some stuff up in the sale, and we will see you later. Bye now. Music